morning, everyone. Hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the T-Rex Arms Ready Rig. But before we get into the video, if you want to help me out personally, you can, of course, like, share, and subscribe, as that is all free and does help me out quite a bit. On top of that, I do have a new upper on the website. However, it's sold out in uh, 15 minutes, so you can't get one. Now, there's also the biggest supporter of the channel, and that is actually going to be Aura. You can sign up for a two-week free trial using my link in the description and the pinned comment. That is absolutely the best way to support me if you did want to do that. And in fact, if you do sign up using my link, go ahead and send me a message or an email or something like that. I think we're going to try and do something cool for those people that do. Again, it's a free trial in the description and the pinned comment. Now, getting into the T-Rex Arms Ready Rig, starting out with full disclosure, I have absolutely no affiliation with T-Rex Arms whatsoever. This is the only T-Rex Arms product that I have ever bought. So no affiliation with them. I did used to watch their content back in the day. He makes good content and is in general a force for good in the community, but I haven't really checked out a lot of their products just because they kind of end up being in that mid-range price, mid-range performance. So it's not particularly exciting to somebody like me who focuses on very high value stuff. Now, very interesting about this ready rig right here is that this is actually a Blem ready rig. So they were selling these on eBay for $20. And at that price, I absolutely had to pick one up. Now, because this is a Blem rig, which has some issues with the materials and stitching, I am not going to be commenting on the stitching or, of course, the long-term durability because I bought it knowing that this is a Blem rig. This is not something that they recommend to use for life-saving applications. This is basically just to test it out, airsoft, LARPing, whatever you want to do with it. I just wanted to check out the concept of the ready rig, and I am very happy to say that it is very nice. Now, personally, I'm not usually a big fan of chest rigs. However, this one here I found to be basically perfect for my needs, which is a very minimalist chest rig. I'm not a fan of bigger chest rigs. We'll get into that a little bit later on, but it was also extremely comfortable and does everything that I want a chest rig to do. Now, as far as materials and construction goes, I have absolutely no idea because T-Rex Arms doesn't list it on their website. I assume that it is made out of some high quality nylon, elastic, so on and so forth, but I can't tell you what it is because they don't tell me what it is. Now, the most important design choice about the T-Rex Arms Ready Rig is that it's ready to go. So this is basically a turnkey solution. It has everything that you need on it already. You do not need to buy anything separately whatsoever. You can always add some stuff on like I have, but you don't need to. It is ready to go out of the box for a very affordable price for an American made piece of nylon. It's like a hundred bucks. I think currently it's actually on sale for like 75, which again, we'll get into it later on, is definitely worth the money if you're looking for a chest rig like this. Now this is the 5.56 version. I believe they are also coming out with a 7.62 by 39 AK mags. I did use 7.62 by 39 in an AR mag, which works okay. But again, we'll get into that a little bit later on. And they are also coming out with a 308 version as well, eventually, if not already. Now, the Ready Rig is an X harness design, which for me works very well. I've heard some people say that they find X harnesses to be uncomfortable. I have not found that to be the case with this one whatsoever. The harness itself is held to the body by four metal D rings, so quite substantial in that regard. The straps are wide enough. Uh, and low profile enough that they do a good job of supporting the weight of the chest rig, though again, not too much weight to begin with, um, while still being low profile. If you did want to carry this in a very, what do the cool people call it, a non-permissive environment, and put it underneath clothes or something like that. Now, the main body of the ready rig, where you're actually going to be putting all of your stuff, is a collection of nylon, elastic, and Velcro. Now, the cummerbund itself, again, is mostly elastic, like probably 70% elastic, which means that it does conform very well to your body as well as stretch as you move and breathe. So again, overall, I have found this to be very, very comfortable. And the only other chest rigs that I've tried that were not this elastic style cummerbund, they were all uncomfortable, unforgiving. So after using the ready rig, it kind of turns me off of all other chest rigs that don't have an elastic cummerbund because I do find that to be very comfortable. Currently, I have about 40 hours in the ready rig which uh, is not that much time, but it is certainly enough time to find out how comfortable it is with the amount of gear that I personally have on it. And this is definitely something that you could wear all day if you had to, or use it every day, depending on what you're doing with it. And it certainly has the level of comfort there for the amount of gear you're probably putting on it. Now, as you can tell, 
You do have an amalgamation of different size pouches. So you have five three inch pouches, which are going to fit your standard AR-15 style magazines. I have three of them pop or four of them populated with magazines. I have a tourniquet. I have a bow fang because you have two two inch pouches and then two four inch pouches, which I'm not currently using the four inch pouches, which are more maybe general purpose or if you had a huge radio, you can put like IFAX in them, but I'm using a dangler front pouch that I'm clipping over the front of it. Um, and that holds all of the medical that I need other than the quick access tourniquet. So all of that plus the multi-tool. And then again, I'm not using either of the four inch pouches which are on either side. They're a little bit harder to get to because they end up being pretty far back. Again, depending how big you are, if you're bigger than I am, they'll be more forward. But on me, I have to reach around quite a bit to get access to them. And I prefer just to have that little dangler up front. Though again, in a more low profile context, you could take everything off the front put the mags on the side, put a IFAC in the side and have something very low profile that fits underneath a hoodie, a zip up or coat, something like that. And the advantage of being mostly elastic and Velcro is the fact that you can very easily add stuff on if you wanted to. Like I have a little dangler here that again has mostly medical, though sometimes I use it as a dump pouch and throw in a bunch of odd accessories in there. Now that's about it for what I carry. And like this with four fully loaded magazines, it comes out to about eight pounds, which is not very much. And that combined with decent sized straps, the elastic cummerbund means that it is incredibly comfortable. Now talking about adjustments and fitment for just a minute, you do have about 20 inches of adjustment on the cummerbund itself, because of course in the back, you basically have two pieces of Velcro that you adjust forward and back as desired and then lock it down with this piece right here. And again, you have about 20 inches of adjustment. The straps themselves, you have a ton of adjustment in as well. As you can probably tell, I like to wear mine fairly high. I find that to be the most comfortable, usable, quick access to the magazines, and it gets it away from a belt or anything else that I happen to be using. Even if I'm just using it by itself, I tend to like to have my magazines about chest height, so not like super low like you might see some other people running it. Now, when it comes to actually using the magazine pouches, because it is, again, mostly elastic, this should basically be very tight to your body at all times, or at least as tight as you want it to be. So pulling out the magazines is very easy to get in and out. The chest rig doesn't like try and lift up with the magazines, which I have seen with some other chest rigs when they are not as tight as you would like them to be, or they're tight and it doesn't lift up, but it's super uncomfortable because it's super tight because it doesn't move with you like elastic does. Re-indexing the magazines can be a different story because again, we are talking about just soft pouches. There's not a lot of form to them. There's a little bit of form, especially over time, but not all that much. Most of the time I could re-index one-handed. Sometimes I would just have to let the rifle hang and use two hands to get a magazine back in. So just keep that in mind when you're talking about soft elastic magazine pouches. Now this is my preferred size of chest rig. This actually gives you quite a bit of capabilities, medical, whatever else that you need to have on here. It can basically do it all and give you again, a fairly substantial loadout. Anytime you start to get bigger or heavier than this, Chest rigs tend to get uncomfortable very quickly. They're not like plate carriers. They don't have actual form to them most of the time. And the straps are a lot smaller. They don't have shoulder pads, so on and so forth. So while yeah, they might be a few pounds lighter than a plate carrier, usually the bigger chest rigs start to be uncomfortable faster than a plate carrier will. On top of that, if you're going with a very heavy plate carrier, sorry, a very heavy chest rig, you can probably take a couple pounds and just convert that into a plate carrier with some very light plates. Like I use 2.8 pound plates from Premier Body Armor, and those are extremely lightweight. And again, even if it is going to be a few pounds heavier than a chest rig with a comparable amount of stuff on it, I would much rather have a plate carrier that one offers protection and two because of the form, better shoulder strap, so on and so forth, is actually a little bit more comfortable, especially over a longer period of time. Now, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing a lot of moving, like if you're hiking 10, 12, 14 miles in a day, then, you know, weight is going to be at more of a premium than just overall comfort. So it really depends on what you're doing. But for its intended minimalistic use case, you can flex it into a very low profile use case as well. If you wanted to, I think the T-Rex Arms Ready Rig does a very good job for 20 bucks. I would absolutely recommend that to anyone for any reason. Now, me personally, if and when that falls apart, I will probably replace it with another ready rig because I quite like it. So with all that out of the way, guys, let me know what you guys think of the T-Rex Arms ready rig in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Isotope.